Welcome. Okay, how to get your signature, your, to digitize your signature, get it into your computer. This will enable you to fill and sign documents, PDF documents that you have to fill and return date and sign and return back again. Every single YouTube video I've watched on this subject just seems to overcomplicate things. Um, w one of them even suggested that you, you get a Sharpie marker pen and uh, sign your name on a bit of paper, scan it in your old fashioned scanner, scan it into your computer, open it in Photoshop, do layer selection and all this carry on. Um, every single YouTube video on this subject just simply overcomplicates this thing. Uh, let's show you how to get your signature into your computer. This will let you fill and sign documents when you have to get them saved, get them sent back nice and quickly without scanning, without any additional software and without any additional apps. We are going to use our mobile phone for this. Um, so grab a smartphone or a tablet, um, first of all, and we'll take a look at this. We're going to use here a, a smartphone. Um, so on the smartphone, we simply open up a, a normal web browser and I've searched for Draw My Signature and I've found a good one. It's called, uh, it's called Online, it's a website. It's called OnlineSignature.com. Uh, let's head in there. And it allows you to kind of, uh, to kind of scribble onto the screen. So using your finger, just uh, have a, look, a play around with this. You've got clear and save. Uh, better still, turn your phone on its side and zoom in. And it gives you a bit more space to work in. Just practice away, and when you're happy with your signature, you can hit save. Um, once you've done that, simply download the signature on an iPhone. We see here on the top right hand corner the little download thing once it's downloaded. So we've saved the image, we simply hit that, open it up uh, as if you're sending an attachment in an email. Email it to yourself. Email this to yourself. Let's get back on the computer. We'll open up this email and as you can see what we've got here is a, a black signature on a transparent background um, which we can't actually see. So for that reason we're going to download it and we locate the file we've downloaded. This time we open with and we're going to open with Paint. Doesn't matter what version of Windows you're using, Paint's been in Windows since the early 90s. Uh, so we right click open with Paint. We're making a selection here um, just hit select, make your selection, hit crop. Once you've done that, save as, PNG works fine, or JPEG, whatever you want to save as. Uh, give it a name, call it signature, call it whatever you want. Um, save it somewhere that you're going to remember where it is, and uh, that's it. Now here's the message, as Paint's telling us, it's, it's saying we're going to lose the transparency. That's fine, that's what we want, because when we open the file now, we've got black text on a white background, which works ideal. Uh, let's jump over to a PDF uh, form now. Uh, so let's say we've got to fill and sign something. This is a PDF document. We'll locate fill and sign. Sometimes in the side panel, you can find it sometimes in tools and fill and sign. Uh, so we go ahead and fill and sign. We've clicked that. We hit sign. Uh, well, they're fill and sign first of all. And we hit uh, the sign button there. We're going to add a signature, but we're going to use an image. So we click image. We browse to the image, hit apply, and it should be floating on our cursor now. We just hit click, hit whatever we want, there it'll do. Click, there, boom, signed. Stick the date in there, just click and uh, put some text date in there. And, uh, and that's it really. Uh, once you've done that, of course, save as, we'll go for file and save as, or just hit save, and uh, job done. Nice and quick, nice and easy, hit the wee, the little thumbs up icon to like the video if uh, this has been of any help. Thanks for watching always. Till next time. Bye for now. Computroon. On Facebook and online at www.computroon.co.uk.